It's happening. The signs of the last day's prophecies are happening just as Bible prophecy foretold. And it's revealing that we are nearing the end of this age of grace and the appearance of Lord Jesus Christ for his church. Thank you so much for being a part of this Last Days Church community here on this ministry channel of Signs of the Last Days. And thanks to all of you who are supporting this Signs of the Last Days ministry with your prayers and with your offerings. It is you praying and you giving that supports this ministry to be here and to continue as we are here watching together with you and praying together with you. As the signs of the last day's prophecies reveal, we are near the appearance of Lord Jesus Christ to get his church, and it's time to prepare now. There's news where Muslims in the United States are openly chanting death to Israel and death to America as they call for jihad on Israel and on America so to eliminate Israel by genocide and bring about the downfall of America's government. And these chants by Muslims of Islam in America of death to Israel and death to America are a direct sign of the last day's prophecies of the Holy Scriptures signaling we are nearing the fulfillment of important prophecies of the last days. Islam is prophesied to rise in the last days through the Islamic coalitions of the South as the Arabs and the Persians, and they will oppose and attack Israel, and they will oppose the West, all is prophesied. And we have witnessed in the 20th century the restoration of Israel, and now in the 20th century into the 21st century, an aggressive Islam that has risen up is attacking both Israel and the West that supports her. To where not only in the Middle East near Israel do you hear the chants of Islamic hatred that say death to Israel, like in Persia, Iran, and its Arab allies as Gaza, Lebanon, Syria, Iraq, and others. But now this extremist Islam is not only chanting death to Israel, but it is also in America where they are openly and loudly chanting death to America as well. To where just before a solar eclipse of the sun brought darkness across America. With it passing right over the U.S. and the state of Michigan, also in Michigan, there were Muslims protesting in public who were chanting death to America, calling for jihad in America, and for bringing down the U.S. government where just as Islamic Iran shouts death to Israel and death to America, now they have their very own proxies in the United States where they are shouting death to Israel and death to America, calling for jihad on both Israel and the West. Now, it's one thing for me to, to describe this event that happened. But it is much more impactful and clear for you to fully understand what is happening here when you actually see this and hear it for yourself. So here is the video of Muslims in America just days ago chanting death to Israel and to America and, and also expressing their call for jihad in America and calling for the U.S. government to be taken down. Credit to the Middle East Media Research Institute and to the New York Post for these videos, which all together are about six minutes long. Al Monte Africa! Al Monte Africa! Al Monte Africa! Malcolm X said, and I quote, 
We live in one of the rottenest countries that, have ever, that has ever existed on this earth. It's not Genocide Joe that has to go. It's the entire system that has to go. Any system that would allow such atrocities and such devilry to, a ha to happen and would support it, such a system does not deserve to exist on God's earth. From the river to the sea means the absolute annihilation of the Zionist regime. Israel It is absolute evil. It is a cancer in the middle of the in the Middle East and in the world. There is no way to deal peacefully with such an entity. There can be no two-state solution. When you have a Zionist aggressor that knows no limits, a Zionist aggressor that will steal land and slaughter children, and that will take pride in doing such deeds. This is a struggle of divine justice against satanic injustice. Those who believe fight in the way of Allah. Victory will come from God, but He doesn't grant it cheaply. There's a price to pay for that victory. There is a price to pay for that victory. Blood must be spilt. Martyrdom must be sought after. Resistance is necessary in any way possible. When the rockets are there, let them fire the rockets. When the rockets run out, if you're coming here, if you're speaking out against Israel, Israel's existence, notice Israel's existence. You can't stand with Palestine unless you're against Israel in its entirety. If Allah is with you, who can defeat you? The most, the most that they can do is to kill us. And that's martyrdom in the way of Allah. Palestine will not be liberated by pandering to the same Western hypocritical so-called democracies that set Israel there in the first place. The resistance will continue, not by pandering to America and Britain and the U.S. to please give us freedom, please liberate our lands, but by relying on God and struggling in any way that we can. We've been asked in the past, why are our protests on the International Day of Quds, why are they so anti-America? Why don't we just focus more on Israel and not talk so much about America? Gaza has shown the entire world why these protests are so anti-America. Because it's the United States government that provides the funds for all of the atrocities that we just heard about. And this is why Imam Khomeini, who declared the International Day of Quds, this is why he would say to pour all of, your all of your chants and all of your shouts upon the head of America. Malcolm X said, and I quote, we live in one of the rottenest countries that, have ever, that has ever existed on this earth. It's not Genocide Joe that has to go. It's the entire system that has to go. Any system that would allow such atrocities and such devilry to, a ha to happen and would support it, such a system does not deserve to exist on God's earth. And so when these fools ask us if Israel has the right to exist, the chant death to Israel has become the most logical chant Shouted across the world today. Imam Khomeini recognized that Israel is an evil settler colonialist project. He realized it is a cancer 
and he established this day. Israel, before this, brothers and sisters, was a sacred cow. Nobody could criticize Israel. Everybody was terrified of being anti-Semitic. Everybody was afraid of them. But now, the people of conscience very openly will criticize Israel. They recognize Israel for what it is. Israel is ISIS. Israel are, they are Nazis. They are fascists. They are racist. The people of the world now know this. Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. Palestine will be free. So there you have it, directly from Islamists in America, where they as extremists call for death to America. They call for death to Israel. They call for the genocide of Israel. They call for the taking down of the U.S. government. And they call for jihad to fight in the way of Allah in any way they said that they can, as they say that the Muslim martyr is beloved by Allah and that their victory will come with blood that must be spilled through martyrdom that must be sought after. As these extremist Islamists of America declare that they are following the mullahs of Iran, they call Israel the little Satan and America the great Satan. And these chants by Muslims in America of death to Israel and death to America are a sign of the last day's prophecies of the Holy Bible Scriptures. The Bible prophecies foretell that the Islamic Arabs, the Islamic Persians, and other Islamists will oppose and attack Israel and be against the West that supports her in the last days of Bible prophecy. Now we should realize in simple terms that this is one of the oldest wars in the world that is still active, which is the war between those north and west of the Mediterranean with those south and east of the Mediterranean where the Mediterranean Sea at Jerusalem of Israel has always remained the center of gravity for this ongoing conflict in history. Those who had a respect for the Holy Bible Scriptures and supported Israel have generally been prevalent above the northern shores of the Mediterranean, but those who have hated Israel were generally prevalent below the southern shores of the Mediterranean. And historically, over time, they both grew outward from the Mediterranean basin, with those of the north generally extending northward and into the west from Jerusalem, and the Muslims of the south generally extending southward and into the east from Jerusalem. And this war through the centuries of the millenniums is called out and confirmed in Bible prophecy as Daniel chapter 11, where the kings of the north and the kings of the south have been at war throughout history and are also prophesied to be at war in the last days of Bible prophecy. In a conflict of the Muslims of Islam against Israel and against those of the west, that support Israel. And this is clearly shown in the Bible prophecies to be at the prophetic center of the last days driving Bible prophecy forward toward fulfillment. Where the Muslim Arabs of Islam are confirmed by prophecies as Joel chapter 3, Isaiah chapter 17, Amos chapters 1 and 2, and Psalm 83 that they will attack Israel in the prophetic last days with their goal being to cut off Israel from being a nation so that it is remembered no more in a genocide on Israel. Which is exactly what these Muslims in America are saying and chanting now when they scream death to Israel, which is a direct sign of these last days prophecies. And who did they say that they are following? They said they are following the Imams leading Iran. 
And Bible prophecy also foretells that the Muslim Persians of Iran, together with other Islamists, will join together with Muslims like from places as Turkey, Ethiopia, and Libya, where it's confirmed in the prophecy of Ezekiel chapter 38 that they will oppose the merchants of Tarshish and all their young lions, which is the West who supports Israel. Which is why these Muslims in America who follow Persia, Iran, are chanting now death to America. They are following the Islamists of Persia, Iran, who with other Muslims will oppose the West and then they will attack Israel, which will lead according to Ezekiel chapter 39 to an attack on the West who think they live in the security of their coastlands. And right now, as Muslims are chanting death to Israel and death to America on the streets of the United States, at the same time, the, Pus the Muslims of Persia, Iran, are threatening Israel that they call the little Satan and the United States that they call the great Satan. We have watched the resurgence of Israel enter their holy land and into their holy city of Jerusalem in the last days. We have watched this already happen just as the Lord God prophesied that it would happen. And now we are watching the resurgence of the Muslims of Islam to rise up again to oppose and fight against Israel and those who support her as they want to try and cut off Israel from being remembered no more in a genocide on Israel from the river to the sea, which this hatred against Israel started in the Genesis when Ishmael, the son of Hagar, the Egyptian, scoffed at Abraham celebrating his promised son, Isaac. And this resurgence of the Muslims of Islam in the last days against Israel and against the West that supports her, that we are watching building up now, it will lead to the resurgence of the only kingdom that ever ruled all the northern and southern shores of the Mediterranean Sea together at the same time. Where the prophecies in Daniel and the revelation of the Lord Jesus Christ foretell that out of the midst of the Mediterranean Sea will rise a kingdom called the beast, where this kingdom will be different and devour all before it, as it will be like a leopard signifying within it the northern realms of all that came from the empire of Greece. And it has feet like a bear, signifying the southern realms of all that came from the empire of the Medes and the Persians. And the mouth of a lion, signifying all the realms of Babylon authority, west and east, both governmental and religious. And the beast had ten horns with ten crowns, signifying it will have a coalition of ten kings that will rule this kingdom. And this kingdom ruled by the ten is the revived Roman Empire of Daniel chapter 2, where from the two legs of iron of the Western Roman Empire and the Eastern Roman Empire, from those two legs will extend the two feet made of Roman iron and clerical clay, led by these ten kings with five from the Western Roman Empire and five from the Eastern Roman Empire. And from among these ten horns will rise the horn of the Antichrist, at first by deception and then by war, who will consolidate all power and authority unto him. Where after the resurgences of the Muslims of Islam, with them causing attacks on Israel and on the West, Rome will revive a revised Roman Empire to once again be the kingdom that rules over all the shores of the Mediterranean Sea from which the Antichrist will arise in the end time. And these Islamic threats of death to Israel and death to America are signs 
of the nearing fulfillments of these last days prophecies. As these events and conditions happening now in the world are connecting directly to the end time as warning signs pointing to the nearing fulfillment of the last days prophecies at the end of this age, revealing it's time to prepare now for the nearing appearance of Lord Jesus Christ for his church, so to be saved from the wrath of vengeance to come in the end time by obeying the commandment of Lord Jesus in John chapter 3 and verse 3 and John chapter 3 and verse 5 where Jesus said, unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. And Jesus said, you must be born again of water and spirit or one cannot enter the kingdom of God according to Jesus Christ. And Lord Jesus sanctioned only his chosen apostle in Matthew chapter 16, verses 18 to 19, to tell us how to be born again, where he gave his apostle the keys to the kingdom of heaven. But the Lord Jesus saying that what his chosen and sanctioned apostle preached was bound, recorded in heaven, which is eternal for his church. And in the Acts of the Apostles preaching in Acts chapter 2 in Jerusalem, in Acts chapter 10, among the Gentiles, and in Acts chapter 19, to the Gentile nations, the chosen apostles of Lord Jesus pro- preached how to be born again of water and spirit through Jesus Christ, as Lord Jesus commanded. And the prophetic signs of the last day's prophecies we're seeing happening now show us it's imperative to prepare now for the appearance of Lord Jesus according to what Lord Jesus and his apostles actually preached in the acts of their preaching in their Holy Bible scriptures. And if you need help finding someone to baptize you and pray with you biblically where you are, according to the preaching of Jesus and his apostles actually in the acts of their preaching in the Holy Bible, you can contact us here at Signs of the Last Days Ministry to help you find someone. Our contact information is down at the very bottom of our website. Our website is signsofthelastdays.org.org. We're down at the very bottom of the page in the footer. You will find our email address. And you can email us with your address of your town and your state and also your zip code. And we'll do our best to help you find someone in your area for biblical prayer and baptism for you. Please be looking for our next Watch and Pray live stream as our Watch and Pray live stream on Sunday evening, where we plan then to share more signs of the last day's prophecies that are happening now. And we'll also testify with a staff of testimony and pray while sounding the chauffeur of the trumpet in Zion. And we'll worship the Lord with instrument and voice glorifying the Lord. So please make sure you're subscribed to and following this channel. Please click the bell to get all notifications for our live streams and videos. Such significant and amazing prophetic signs are happening now in world events, which are signs for the biblical believers of Lord Jesus, telling us, as Lord Jesus said, to keep looking up as the signs show that our redemption is drawing near. Signs of the times are everywhere There's a brand new feeling in the air Keep your eyes upon the eastern sky Draw 